sort of part the way we start our show here is our coronavirus update and market update, uh, 626. And um, so the big news for today, the big huge news for today is that it is August, uh, for as of August 1st, the governor of Hawaii, Governor Ige, announced that uh, if you are pre-tested within 72 hours of flying, within 72 hours of flying, you can skip quarantine. So let me repeat that. If you get pre-tested and are tested negative, of course, of coronavirus, you can land in Hawaii and will not have to uh, go through quarantine. So that is a really, really big deal. Um, there's a lot of details. It was just kind of a press release announcement. I sat through the whole thing. Uh, they talked about, you know, who's going to do the testing and things of that nature. And uh, for example, they they talked about the testing might be done through uh, CVS pharmacies or other uh, private uh, testing facilities that they didn't talk about how they're going to be authorized or who's going to have official documentation or how it's all going to work that was not discussed. But generally what's going to happen is you're going to go to a CVS pharmacy or I would assume a Walgreens or some kind of a testing place, some kind of an authorized testing place, get tested, show up with your some kind of documentation that shows that you're negative on coronavirus, show up at the airport and uh, you will be good to go. So that is a, that's a, a huge piece of huge piece of news. Um, other related news, they're talking about some travel bubbles. Uh, if you're from New Zealand, for example, or from Australia, place that have next to no coronavirus, they're talking about some kind of use on that. So that is the big news, folks. And uh, uh, if you folks have any questions about that, you pop them in the comments right now, and I'll do the best I can to answer them. We do have some real estate questions, so I kind of want to have Dylan and Scott comment in on this. So we have a couple. Um, so Jay from uh, St. Paul, Minnesota says... Is it cheaper to buy a home now in Hawaii with COVID-19 going on? And James from San Francisco says, I see that the quarantine will be lifted in August. Are there restrictions on viewing properties? Um, why don't we kind of, let's kind of round this up. Dylan, why don't you kind of fill us in on, well, actually Dylan and Scott, you know, we answer this sort of, is it cheaper to buy a home now question that comes up sort of every time. Has this changed? Have there been any market changes or you guys want to comment? So Dylan, why don't you get started first? You're, uh, you're muted. Unmute your phone. There we go. All right. Yeah, not, go. not yet. Um, we don't get the data until a few days after the month closes. So we did discuss the data last, uh, last show about may and and the the median prices hadn't really changed um the number of homes that are selling has changed so there are a lot less homes that are selling but that's also off being offset by there's less listing so the buyer demand that is still there is being offset by less inventory and so we haven't seen prices fall yet you know it may take a little bit little while if that's gonna happen but so far we're still in high demand and and we'll talk later we got a, a couple of featured properties and uh there, there's lots of activity even on on million dollar plus properties right now so it's not cheaper yet not, <laughs> not sure cheaper if it's gonna yet. be scott any change on the oahu market that's uh, that's worth noting uh not not really change i mean single family home price median home price is still up uh three and a half percent condos are up 3.4 percent but and, and i for example i have five escrows right now four of them went over asking price and the fifth one is at full price so that kind of gives an indication of some of the competitiveness we still have a supply demand imbalance here more buyers in the market than sellers so um, prices have gone up but i am starting to see the the data in those second home markets specifically waikiki is really starting to change the numbers are starting to change much more in favor of buyers so that, that is the one market will that and Kakako, I believe, will have some changes. Now, when you say much more in favor of buyers, I'm assuming what you're saying is that the prices are beginning to drop in Waikiki and Kakako. Uh, prices, not as much Kakako, but prices are down 4%. Close sales are down 67% in Waikiki, but the, but the number of new listings is only off 11%. Um, so you're seeing a lot less sales but the inventory and there's more inventory there's 10% more inventory now so inventory starting to build and then we'll see how the quarantine uh, you know being able to allow tourists to come back in without the quarantine will affect that marketplace but i think it's going to drag it's going to take a while for anything to kick back in so i do think waikiki is is the buy opportunity coming up here it, and it's here now 
and and you think that's because because why because there's a lot of probably sort of vacation rentals a lot of sort of the old airbnb effect over here a lot of vacation rentals that now are not being rented at all they're losing money i need to dump this property because i've been i'm over leveraged on it or who knows what the reason is yeah i don't necessarily yes there's part of that but i think it's more the buyer demand has stopped because you don't have the offshore buyer coming in to buy and if the, somebody locally is looking to buy in waikiki they're looking at, hey, I've got no rental income coming in, so how can I really project what the true value of this is gonna be and when that rental income is gonna come back? So you're seeing less sales in that area. Uh, people don't, the workforce housing doesn't have to live down there necessarily, and a lot of them don't want to because it's very congested and heavily tourism based. So they live outside of Waikiki. So those markets outside of Waikiki should continue to perform well. Uh, okay, got it. So that, that's a variety of reasons why the market in Waikiki is, is what it is. Interesting. Okay, so the other question that we uh, we have over here is um, is is it uh, viewing restrictions? Uh, James says, "I see the quarantine will be lifted in August. Are there still restrictions on viewing properties?" That's more of an industry thing. Dylan, is there what's is there a difference? Well, l l let's talk about Kona first, or the Big Island, or Maui for that matter. What, is there any restrictions on viewing? Like before, you couldn't even show a property. Is that changed? Uh, it, it didn't change. For the Big Island, it opened up June one. Each county is handling that separately, so you got to check with the county that you're going to. But in on the Big Island in particular, uh, June one showings and open houses uh, could start again. So. We do take precautions. Obviously, we uh, wear a mask, uh, we hand sanitize, we, we try not to touch anything, don't open cabinets and touch doors. So a lot of times listing agents will go to a property prior and open stuff up and make it easy so we don't have to, we can minimize the, the, the touching of surfaces and things like that. Uh, leaving your shoes on, which is a weird thing in Hawaii, but that also is recommended so you're not, um, you know, your feet aren't touching the uh, ground in the home. So there are some things and precautions that we are uh, taking, but definitely you can you can see property now as long as you're beyond your 14 day quarantine or, you know, if this changes in August where you, you can bypass it, uh, we should be good to go to show property. Scott, is there anything different going on on Oahu that Dylan has that, that, that Dylan has mentioned that that is different? Uh, Very the, similar. The, first of all, the we leave your shoes on in Hawaii. It's like, oh, my God, <laughs> you got to be kidding. That's that's how you know things are messed up. Yeah, that's a hard one to do. Um, yeah, no, we're actually even doing open houses now at this point, but they're very limited, you know, limited number of people coming through at a time. Um, like Dylan said, masks, gloves, if you can, uh, we have sanitizing wipes. Um, one of the practices I've been having with buyers is, hey, drive your own car, or I'll drive my own car, so we're, we're not mixing, commingling within the, within the same, you know, car, and we'll meet at, meet at the location. Uh, that way it minimizes it for everybody, the exposure. Right, right. The old, the old drive me around to look at homes is kind of out the window, at least for a little while, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm one thing that we had talked about offline would be, I, I'd like to get some feedback from the folks that are watching, uh, is that, you know, does this, knowing this now, knowing that you can get pre-tested and come over to Hawaii uh, starting August 1st without having to wait in quarantine, is that affecting your plans? Is that something that you'd be interested in? Are there, you know, we, I know uh, you guys both have told me that we have a whole bunch of people that have been sort of biting, you know, chopping on the bit. Uh, to get over here and start looking at these properties. And uh, I'm just kind of, I'd like to get some feedback from you folks. Is this changing your, uh, is this August 1st thing affecting what you're doing? Are you planning on coming over? Um, is there something that we can help you with uh, to kind of get yourself arranged? That'd be kind of something I'd like to kind of to put out to everybody. All right. 